What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are here today. <laughs> Jewish Girl Reacts is what we'll call this episode. Yes, <laughs> Jewish Girl and Goy React. To what movie is this we're watching today, Roxy? The Prince of Egypt. The Prince of Egypt. Do you know what the story is? I think I think I know. I think it's probably about Let My People Go, yeah. our, our exodus escape from egypt yeah is that what this is and then he like you know defeated goliath oh after eating the apple that gave him superpowers what uh, a bro. Yeah, and, then, and cain yeah and then abel the, came then in the jews took over the movie and music business right after right yeah. right oh, it I all see. started with moses back in the day yeah well, moses is the homie man <laughs> hey leave a like yeah, ooh, this is fun. I have carte blanche because I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can't say as much. You can't mess exactly. around like I can. This is good for me. Exactly. Even if I was Catholic, Catholics don't like when you make fun of Catholics. Really? So, yeah, but Jews can get away with it. Eh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah it's true. There, there, there are certain camps. Where were you in 1998 that you missed this? Um, Probably a really abusive situation. <laughs> You were you were uh, the prince of your home, the prince of North Hollywood at the time. <laughs> Old Testament and the Torah are essentially the same, right? What we got is the Old Testament. What yes. you got is the Old and the New Testament. Yeah, yeah, we got the sequel. Yeah, yeah, we essentially got half of what you have. You're like, nope, he guess who's back? <laughs> but you don't. But you don't call it the Old Testament, right? So I guess it would just be. The Testament. I know you really respect your people and your culture, and you really fight for their rights. Um, but, I, but you're I, not like religious. No. So with the Jews, there is um, reform, conservative, mm -hmm. and orthodox. Right. I am reform. Do things like put an orange on my seder plate. A secular Jew, so I'm okay. a non-religious Jew. But the tradition stuff is sick because it's only it's an ethno religion. Oh. Ethnically, I'm cool, Jewish, word. but religiously, I. Believe in the people. Are you religious? No. I grew up a hardcore Catholic, though. With, like, the church? Yeah. The, 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 church, <laughs> the, the church? The New Testament church? Uh, yeah, I grew up a hardcore Catholic. With the confession stuff? Yeah, that was part of the package, yeah. Wow. I was an altar server. I don't remember sometimes the difference between Catholic and the other one, so that's the one with the Pope. Catholic's the one you mainly see in the movies. Full length three action watch alongs. And by the way, thank you all who joined our Patreon because we've gotten so many people joining ever since we've been doing these movie reactions. Soon you'll you'll have some solo ones here. Just get you a few more in here. Whoa. Yeah. It's because I told them how sexy they are when they join. <laughs> Super <laughs> sexy rejects. <laughs> You don't like subtitles, right? It's a musical? Let's find out. This is like Les Mis. Okay, so it is part musical. They're going hard in this opening. I wonder why they wanted to make this movie for kids. So the story can be more accessible for everyone, I suppose. This is an important cultural story. That's what Rugrats are for, though. God, you know, hand-drawn animation just gets so much more motion. I love it. <laughs> I have nothing I can give. I'm glad she's transitioned to English. If he will deliver what was that word? Deliverance? Deliver us. Deliver us. If we had subtitles, we could have. <laughs> 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 Deliver us to the promised land. So she's sending Moses in the basket down the river, mm -hmm. but they're not giving much of a backstory. I'm sure we'll get it. Sleep and remember my last lullaby you when you dream. Oh, cute little Moses. It's a young Charlton Heston right there. This is some powerful music. 
Some might say harrowing. Not the hippos. Wow. Look at baby Moses go. Being protected by the sea. That is exactly how we were always taught the story, though. Really? Yeah, like, the basket has to go through, and then they describe, like, the worst conditions. Oh, no way. I totally missed that part. <gasps> There's your loving brother. You open that, you find it's a kid. Are you, like, smiling like that, or are you, like... <laughs> How much can I make off this baby? This is where my mind goes. <laughs> Grow, baby brother. Come back someday. She tracked all the way to here, snuck in to peer in on this. Feels like you could have just brought the basket. <laughs> Come, Ramesses. We will show Pharaoh your new baby brother. An interesting hair choice on the side uh. like that. Whoa, whoa, guys. Come on, Moses. Admit it. You always looked up to me. Uh, yes, but it's not much of a view. <laughs> wow. You got to get the Jews out of Egypt. Aw, <laughs> uh, are they going to ruin all this? Ooh, ooh. Wow. Turn that frown upside down. Oh. That feels like symbolism for Jewish noses. But that's not a Jewish nose. <laughs> that's <laughs> Maybe that's why it came off so easy. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Uh-oh. Him, yes. I seek to build an empire, and your only thought is to amuse yourselves by tearing it down. Have I taught you nothing? Is that a letterbox? <laughs> the fault is mine. I goaded Ramesses on, and so I am responsible. Hmm. Responsible. And do you know the meaning of that word, Ramesses? <gasps> the theme. And do you understand the task for which your birth has destined you? The ancient traditions. One damaged temple does not destroy centuries of tradition, but one weak link can break the chain of a mighty dynasty. I'm rooting for Ramses. Ramesses. I mean, dude, you were wildly reckless. Ridiculously <laughs> so. You destroyed the entire town. Must you be so hard on him? Moses. <laughs> All he cares about is, is your approval. I know he will live up to your expectations. He only needs the opportunity. Do you think he always stands there hoping he is in alignment with his statue? I don't know, but it is a great shot. Single-handedly, you will manage to bring the greatest kingdom on earth to ruin. Why is it that every time you start something, I'm the one who ends up in trouble? It's interesting to have him have a British accent like this. <laughs> it's classic Hollywood. <laughs> You're in trouble, well, young man. Get down here. I think you owe us an apology. Aww. You might as well. Aw, they got along so well. You care too much. And your problem is you don't care at all. Oh, in that case, I suppose you care a lot more than I do that we're <laughs> late for the banquet, for example. Don't worry, guys. Moses is going to care so much by the end of this. Yeah, they do make them both such punks. We present for your delectation and delight an exotic apparition stolen from faraway land. Oh, that's messed up. We offer you this delicate desert flower. <laughs> this is very Jasmine-esque. Yeah, I feel like she's also going to become a love interest here. But what an introduction for a love interest. Desert cobra. You will show the proper respect for a prince of Egypt. None! No! Wait! Like, it's a human. What's wrong with you guys? Let's go! As you wish. Ah! Oh! 
<laughs> Moses is a tw- twerp. <laughs> And he's not going to have a character arc at all in this movie. He's going to remain that way. Yeah. <laughs> Is to appoint Moses as royal chief architect. Awesome. He earned it by torturing this poor woman. I want that ring. Loki, I have that ring. It's not his sister, is it? Well, <clears throat> right. She tied them all up. Even the dogs. Yeah, that's kind of rude. Wow. Look how ahead of the time this movie was with how woke it is. (laughs) Tying up dogs? You know, come get it. A woman, you know, just being independent. (laughs) Prince Prince Moses. Moses. (gasps) He's He's gonna help her. There's a, a man tied up in my room. Well, look into it. Right, right away, sir. Moses is all right. I need water. I have a long journey ahead of me. May God protect you. I hope it's not his sister because he has a crush. Uh, different times back then, Roxy. That's some Luke Leia <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so- I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't I tell you, Aaron? Didn't I tell you? I knew he would return to us when he was ready. Is that Sandra Bullock? I knew you cared about our freedom. Miriam. Freedom? Why would I care about that? Because you're you're our brother. Oh, dude. That's not how you do it. She thought he knew. They never told you? Who never told me what? You, you must know. Be careful, slave. She's exhausted from the day's work. Not that it was too much. We, we quite enjoyed it. (laughs) You are not a prince of Egypt. Please, Moses, you must believe. That's enough. You were born of my mother, Yocheved. Stop it. You are our brother. Wow. Wow. Your Highness, she's ill. We beg your forgiveness. Please, Miriam. Man, this is tense. Our mother set you adrift in a Miriam. basket to man, save your life. Tense. Save my life? From who? Ask the man that you call father. Is he Jeff Goldblum? Mm-hmm. God saved you to be our deliverer. Enough of this. And you are, Moses. I said enough. You will regret this night. And what is your name again so I can tell on <laughs> you? Hush now, my baby. Sleep as you're rocked by. Uh, his baby ears remember. Bring him all back. Remember my last lullaby. Wow. Help him. Did you see it? It's Moses. Man, if that was triggering for him, yeah. imagine when he gets around a hippo. It's <laughs> your best joke, yeah. Sweet perfumes of incense, graceful rooms of alabaster stone, all I ever wanted. Uh huh. The singing's internal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I am a sovereign prince of Egypt, etched on every wall. Surely this is all I ever wanted. No, it's not, buddy. Oh, come on, man. You know you want to get rid of that wig. Wow, what a zoom. Whoa. Whoa. What a crazy nightmare to be having. I love this animation choice. (laughs) Yes, good. Hide in the plant. What a genius way of executing this nightmare. But it's like... The problem with people being enslaved is not that they're your people, it's that they are people. You know what I mean? I mean, as long as he does something, I think we're good. (laughs) But he's only going to do something because he finds out it's his people. Maybe it's just a catalyst to change. Wow, is he like having like a vision of all this right now? I don't know. Stop running from the true history. (gasps) 
really did like that sequence, especially doing it through that animation style. That's how people dictated history back then. Oh, they really do little penises on all of them. You see that? It's the first thing you notice. <laughs> Most harrowing shot of the whole movie so far. You're like, oh wow, <laughs> they're really just a little piece of something. Father, tell me you didn't do this. Moses, sometimes. Well, he just knows. For the greater good, sacrifices must be made. Oh, he was pained by it, apparently. Mm hmm. How did Moses not know about this? How would he even know? Sacrifices. They were only slaves. Ugh. I think he was just completely ignorant to how slaves, at least in this depiction of how Worked. slaves were, yeah, yeah, how they were treated just in, as people. Is this where you found me? So everything I thought, everything I am, is a lie. No, you're just adopted, dude. This is your home, my son. When the gods send you a blessing, you don't ask why it was sent. I'm actually liking the musical numbers they they really carry the narrative forward instead of just being fun yeah they are very serious i understand why they're not like catchy the catchy sing-alongs you play in the family car yeah although i have heard a lot of them <laughs> and here a statue of monkey god of said, hurry stop it here, somebody's got to stop this there's nothing that we can do oh oh stop here it is let's go moses come on moses stop it Come on, Moses. Leave that man alone. Ooh. There it is. Oh, damn. Who did this? Up there. It was Ramses. Can they tell that that's Moses down there? I mean, everyone up there can. Yeah, up here, but down there. They say, who did that? That guy up there. going on uh, Moses can't you see brother <laughs> I can't stay here any longer Moses no all I've ever known to be true is a lie I'm not who you think I am damn you Roxy now I just keep seeing it like did he only start caring because <laughs> he's Jewish <laughs> got it really stuck in my head now. it's tough to oversee <laughs> Oh, they really did get along. They were effing things up all over town. I know, man. They're like Bonnie and Clyde, but in a sibling way. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of other references, maybe. I couldn't pull it at the time. <laughs> I still can't pull it <laughs> still now. I can't think of one <laughs> even right now. And it was Cain and Eve. <laughs> Good pull. You did it. Thank you. I think that's what we were going for. <laughs> I just think the detail of hand-drawn animations is so much more enticing. I'm going to get so much heat for this, but this isn't Disney, is it? It's DreamWorks. Oh, it's DreamWorks. Yeah, but there are parts of it that remind me of like a cross between Aladdin and Pocahontas. Totally. Nah, keep that, man. Because how are you going to prove to anybody or you? Wow, that was a fast... Wow. Your eyes would be burned out. Oh. It just looks like a plant. Ah! Ouch. <laughs> Oh, I think he wanted to die. Hey, wait, please. I do like the angle that he came to the realization of everything from being a spiritual journey that he had in his own head. You're just trying to make excuses for him. <laughs> yeah, he's really just a selfish guy. <laughs> Get away. Time to kill more people, Moses. Killing is not the way, Greg. It becomes one of the commandments. Aren't these your camels? Uh, 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 
Yeah, get that Marvel body shot. Oh. <laughs> Not well made. Not well made. He's been cleansed in water, and I just got that. We're trying to get the funny man out of the well. Trying to get the funny man out of the well. Oh, uh, what are the odds? Is she going to not recognize him? I think she's going to know exactly who he is. I don't think so. You. Oh. Bummer. Good one. Mm -hmm. He helped you escape. He also humiliated her in public. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's some Stockholm <laughs> thing that I was saying. No, not there. Please. How'd he get out? The tickles. Ladies, you've cleaned every inch of me. Whoa. Not every. <laughs> I was wrong. They went for the buy. <laughs> I'm excited for this part of the movie. Yeah, when it finally focuses on the him doing good shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'll be my honored guest. <laughs> my father, Jethro, high priest of Midian. Oh, yeah. Get to know your people. Let us give thanks for this bountiful food. Let's also give thanks for the presence of this brave young man whom we honor here tonight. So, because they know what he did? Yeah, I believe so. First you rescue Zipporah from Egypt, then you defend my younger daughters from brigands. Oh, those okay, two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot all about those two things. <laughs> a single thread in a tapestry, though its color brightly shine. Can never see its purpose in the pattern of the grand design. Those are the dance moves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've changed tunes. You're enchanting them, man. Does it think it's more important than the stones that form the base? <laughs> <laughs> Look at your life through heaven's eyes. Aww. Is this what you guys do every Hanukkah? No, he's a high priest. They're not even part of the tribe. I know those things. <laughs> Lost sheep, our shepherd boy, is greater than the richest king. Or is it the beginning of a new and brighter birth? He was cleansed in the well. The answer will come to him who tries to look at his life through heaven's eyes. There's always this like Hakuna Matata walking across that happens in these movies, and this is this. Dance with me. No, I, you, must I, learn no, to join no. you can do it. You know the moves. <laughs> <laughs> you know the I'll teach you. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the actual dance moves? Yeah. <laughs> You're getting married. What a man is worth by what he builds or buys. You can never see. I love that his eyebrows are brown still. <laughs> Look at your life through heaven's Oh, look at him having a great life. Oh. They're married now. Is it true? Yeah, they, did you not just see what happened? They just got married. Well, there was the white and the whatever, but I didn't know it was the end of, like, it happened very fast, Greg. I was going to say, where's the bush? Is this less of a bush and more of a... More of a twig? Plant in the, in the woods? In the, like the if we are going to do an animated burning bush, you couldn't make it more bushy? Wield the fire. Who are you? Yahweh. I am that I am. And if I wasn't, then why would I say I am? <laughs> Every day I am. <laughs> I am the God of your ancestors. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All Jews. I have seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. So I have come down to deliver them out of slavery. Get to work, Moses. And so unto Pharaoh I shall send you. Man, imagine the pressure. I was the prince of Egypt, the son of the man who slaughtered their children. You've, you've chosen the wrong messenger. How, how can I even speak to- No, that's why you're the right messenger. Who made man's mouth? Who made the 
deaf, the mute, the seeing, or the blind. Did not I? Now go! I am full of love. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to yell at you, Moses. I, I'm Pharaoh will not listen, so I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders. Take the staff in your hand, Moses. With it, you shall do my wonders. I shall be with you, Moses. If nothing for nothing, <laughs> that would be the craziest. Like, if that's you, I don't think I'd tell anyone. It would get really hard for people to believe you on such a thing. Oh, uh, the dad's dead already right now, right? Oh, Ramesses. It's so good to see oh, you. Excuse me, uh, your majesty. <laughs> this man committed a serious crime against the gods, yet the law clearly states the punishment for such a crime. Death! We hesitate to say it. Be still. He would be killed for murdering a slave? No, he didn't murder the slave. He murdered the person hanging the slave over. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I pardon forever all crimes of which he stands accused. He is our brother Moses, the Prince of Egypt. My God, this is a real like Donald Trump situation. Not to make this religious video political, guys. <laughs> you know I am a Hebrew, and the God of the Hebrews came to me. He commands that you let his people go. Could write a book on communication on how to handle this. Behold, the power of God. Awesome. Very well, Moses. I'll play along. <laughs> Give this snake charmer our answer. <laughs> Wait, what? Are, are they able to do stuff too? Oh, okay. I thought they were just like casting out the light. By the power of Ra. Moot. Hanum. Pata. Nefti. Uh. Nakmet, Sawbeck, Sakmet. They're really working hard to one up this snake trick, huh? Ra, Moot, Noot, Pata, Him, Soka, Sakat, Sashmu, Raspu, Sawbeck, What a Tekit, Mottet, Nefti, Nakmet, Ra! I mean. You're playing with the big boys now. Playing with the big boys now. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Stop this foolish mission! Pick up your silly pig boy! You're playing with the big boys now! <laughs> they just have these theatrics ready to go. Boys. Oh, that's a catchy song. There are yeah, a lot of Disney I, I, animation flourishes here. For sure. You know this song? Uh, yeah. Look, what do you see? A greater Egypt than that of my father. That is not what I see. <laughs> <laughs> you have returned only to free them. Oh, he's making it official. Oh, he's got cat eyes. I do not know this god, neither will I let your people go. That is the opposite of the song. <laughs> I will not be the weak link. They let that Easter egg on for us early. How does it feel when you get struck to the ground? When did you start caring about slaves? Was it when you found out that you were one of us? Yeah. Oh, wow. God saved you from the river. He saved you in all your wanderings and even now he saves you from the wrath of pharaoh no you're always getting a pass so don't you abandon us come on man you got some tricks up your sleeve is it part of the traditional story that Moses would do like one of these godly acts that the, the Egyptians would come back with something else. Like, oh, there's my snake trick. All right, well, let me one up your snake trick and show you how to do this. Yeah. That is part of it? Okay. I don't know about the, like, theatrics of the things coming in from the walls and all of that, mm. but yeah. Let my people go! Bring him to me. Great music. Take the staff in your hand, Moses. 
This is when he walks on water. That's what Jesus does. He's going to turn oh, this into oh, yeah. the, the, the red blood. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I was thinking about Moses parts the seas, but that's when they're leaving. That's what Jesus does. Good point. Good point. I mix up my us. Father, it's blood. Going back to the boat instead of on the land. We are going to demonstrate the superior might of our gods. By the power of Ra. That's not the same thing. He turned a whole river. Abandon this or lake. futile mission, Moses. I've indulged you long enough. This must now be finished. It's just not the same thing. Well, he must be an idiot. <laughs> he can take away your food, your home, your freedom with one word. Pharaoh can take away your very lives. Get to the good part. Yep. But there is one thing he cannot take away from you. Your Judaism. Your faith. That one guy's like, what does that get? He's <laughs> just like sulking. <gasps> See, this is what they can't combat. Uh, you never know, man. They pulled out a bunch of crazy shit earlier. Oh, they're going to show us all of them at once. The locust one, man. Oh, uh, there it is. Once I called you brother. Once I thought the chance to make you laugh was all I ever wanted. Come on, Ramesses. You got to pay attention, man. They're like showing Ramses. No, oh, look, we do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> this was my home. All this pain and devastation, how it tortures me inside. Huh. I never looked at it from that point of view, that this would probably pain Moses as well just to do this to the Egyptians. Man, when the visuals go dark, it's pretty impressive. You who I call brother, how could you have come to hate me so? Is this what you wanted? He just wants one thing, man. The Interesting that he's in red and green. Ramesses? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to let your people go? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Get different people. <laughs> I remember the time you switched the heads of the gods of the Temple of Ra. That was funny. You were there switching heads right along with me. I didn't do that. Oh, yes, you did. You put the hippo on the crocodile and the crocodile on, on the falcon. Don't reminisce, guys. Father was furious. You were always getting me into trouble. Gosh. This is the story of Greg and Jabby Koi right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pause. <laughs> Tell me more. Father, it's so dark. It's about to get a lot darker for you, kid. Isn't that the man who did all this? Because no kingdom should be made on the backs of slaves. Mm hmm Something else is coming. Something much worse than anything before. Let go of your contempt for life before it destroys everything you hold dear. I don't know if he knows. Sounds like he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time I finished the job. Ramesses! And there shall be a great cry in all of Egypt. <laughs> such as never has been or ever will be again. There it is. Ramesses, you bring this upon yourself. But Ramesses is the firstborn. Mm -hmm. And Ramesses' son. Take a lamb, and with its blood, mark the lintel and posts of every door. That's what you see on the door here before you enter. I shall pass through the land of Egypt and smite all the firstborn. <sighs> That's not you. How are they going to do this? I will pass over you. And the plague shall not enter. Okay, so now he definitely knows. He's <laughs> pretty confident. The whole movie I've been like, how are they going to do this scene? My God. Literally. First contact. Wow, what a fascinating visual. Yeah, interesting choice. It's coming from the sky. Oh. oh, it's like an uh, apparition kind of a presence. The fear. Whoa. 
So it almost visually like takes it takes their breath. Yeah. You hear shattering. Like, yeah. <laughs> that is haunting. Cool sounds. Is that Ramesses and his son? Uh, yeah. It's confusing though. Is Ramesses not the firstborn? He is, but that only went after the children. Like under 18? <laughs> Legal age factor. You and your people have my permission to go. Oh, yeah, and then he changes his mind, bro. Spoilers. <laughs> And that is conflicting. So I remember, like, read this or heard the story or read it. It, it was always like, yeah, Moses went in there, did his thing, right? <laughs> but you're actually seeing how much of a toll this took on him. Many nights we've prayed with no proof. Another banger. <laughs> now we are not afraid, although we know there's much to fear. Yeah. There can be miracles when, when you believe. Wow, you do know this yeah. song. <laughs> Tell you this was the this is another banger. In this time of fear, when prayer so often proved in vain, mm. hope seemed like the summer birds to swiftly flown away. These are great songs. God. Miracles you can achieve. That's awesome. They bring that actual language. Hebrew. <laughs> it's the word language. But he's about to try to stop them. That. Uh, Jerk. Just let him go. Enough is enough. Let him go. This is a really strong, like, attainable way for children to get the story. But the, what do you feel the like? The bare bones version. Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel like, though, is, like, the main lesson of this for kids? Don't enslave people. Yeah, I suppose some kids need to be taught that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're actually going to get to the commandments in this movie, are we? I think we're just going to part the seas. Yeah, I think that he's going to come to stop them. It's not going to work, and then we're going to end the movie. Wow, that's some straight up Lion King shit right there. <laughs> Why would you go after them knowing what just happened? I mean, he never they, learned a lesson, man. They have nothing else to lose. He accidentally turns it to blood first. Shit, <laughs> no, wrong, 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 wrong one. <laughs> Wow, it's a beautiful visual. Aquaman 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I believe. Aaron, your real brother. No one's even pushing. Must be freezing in there. Fish. Oh, that's that cool. That was sick looking. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a Best lot. Best aquarium ever. Yeah, me too. Man, that would be awesome to see. You're gonna. You think that God's gonna be chill with you going in there after everything He's shown you? 
Like, why? Leave it be, my dude. <laughs> Doesn't even get that far in. <laughs> Couldn't you just close, like, half of it? Why do you need to get to, like, the very end? <laughs> Horrible way to die. He is like the greatest failure. Wow, the different different emotions you must feel in a moment like that. You can feel a few things at once, but relief has to be top of the list. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, everyone, gather around. Here are the commandments. No way. I, th I think we got to get to it in some way. At least the post credit scene. <laughs> <laughs> post credit. <laughs> Not the post credits. I thought he did die, right? Someone her off. Cursed be thy name. Ramesses will return. <laughs> 2024. <laughs> Goodbye, brother. Aw, oh, and then they were free. Then eventually they all grew very negative. We were free for like a hot <laughs> sack. We get enslaved real quick again. Oh shit. Post credits, let's Post hear it. Post credits, <laughs> they were gonna reserve it. <laughs> Is that satisfying enough for you, that moment? Like the if you're a kid, you have no idea what just happened. Yeah, I know. It's literally like a post credit scene. <laughs> Whoa, three people directed this movie. I mean, I feel like the movie's made for all kinds of camp. These kind of movies of uh, uh, when you believe by Mariah Carey, that's awesome. I will get through my boys to men also. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? This song right now, the post credits of it, that's her version of it. Um, the, the, these kind of movies are made for people who know the story and for also to meant to like introduce you if you don't know the story. And yeah, I mean, to me, I was, I kind of got what I expected going into it. Did you? To me, I did. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think it's a, I feel conflicted for a couple of different ways. I, I, I reasons. I think that they did a very good job with this, but it's like I I wonder when you're talking about who's who's supposed to get what from this. Like if this is well, what do you get from the story itself, the actual story, the story that I know. Yeah, yeah. What it like? What what are the lessons that yeah. I took when I first learned it? Kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um. Yeah, definitely. I think that like you hit the nail on the head. Obviously, like you, nobody owns anybody, and you're not like ju just because you're in a position of power doesn't mean you should use it for evil. Um, and you're not, nobody's expected to do anything for you. Like, and then from the religious standpoint, you know, the actual element of God will be there to help you out. And that's also the, like to me, the, the journey of this has always been like the build up to the 10 commandment. Like learning. totally. Yeah. I, I think for me and you and tell me if I'm, if I'm mistaken, but like as two sec, uh, as two non-believers, I don't know if you call yourself secular, um, but I believe uh, I, I'm one of those people when I say like I'm I really it's a very L.A. thing to be like, I'm spiritual, not religious. But there is this, I have, have a big spiritual sense in the way of like, I do believe uh, in, in like, let me just like formulate it's like most L.A. kind of things. Like a law of attraction kind of thing. Like to me, like, like that's that, that uh, there's in a spiritual the universe. Sense. Yeah, yeah, I believe in all that. And, uh, and, and I, so I do believe in like energies and all that jazz. Right. Um, and I, and I mean that full heartedly, uh, but yeah, do I necessarily, but, but I really respect people's religious beliefs. I really do. All, all things considered I do. Um, well, I think that uh, then maybe you feel differently about this, but I, so I would call myself agnostic, which essentially means who the hell knows. Um, I have no idea. Like, how yeah. how could I possibly know is how I feel. 
And I'm, I'm also, I also ride that line. <laughs> I, yeah. I, would, I would say so. Like, I don't know if there's, a, if there's an afterlife. Like, why would there be? I don't understand what that means. You know? I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's like, it does take a level, some level of arrogance to pretend that anybody knows, yeah, exactly. um, which I don't. So I don't really pay attention to, the, I've read the Bible before. Um, I don't really like. New Testament too? We, you want to know something really interesting? We read it in my AP journalism class. Wow. In high school. Um, Holy crap. That's crazy. It was interesting, like as a, as a uh, piece of literature, I, I suppose. Yeah. As w- whatever. It was interesting, but um, I, so I pay attention to stories and I think some of the stories are just brilliant with great messages Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when it comes to the religious aspect of it. It doesn't affect me as much. So it does kind of partially these stories partially lose me when we are talking to a bush and it's not your inner voice. It is God um, who's doing these things that couldn't be done, you know? Uh, So I, I am, I am curious, like the message for little kids, if you're not a religious little kid, what, is the takeaway versus if you are, is it like you said, God will guide you no matter. Right. Well, I think also the message of standing up for the right thing as well. Like to me, a, 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 you know, I, th- I think they made a movie about Harriet Tubman. I haven't seen this movie, but I, I love the story of Harriet Tubman when they did call her, like one of her nicknames was Moses. And she herself had had a vision uh to go and like help out slaves and save them and stuff. You know, Harry Tubman. Yeah, of course I know Harry. Some people don't. <laughs> um, oh my uh, God. And, and so like, to me, I'm like, Sorry, oh, there's no judgment on the people who don't, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but to me, I'm like, no, that's a beautiful story of someone who really felt that God communicated to them and they had to go save it. So to me, I'm like, yeah, right, I would communicated like, for her to what she needed to do as opposed to, like Moses obviously isn't sending but locusts mo- and boils and blood in the water. Like that's coming from God. Right. But he's still challenging his whole identity and upbringing that he had. And then what he called family and having to go against that. Like the movie doesn't strongly go into that side of it, but I can imagine from a cycle, like I was appreciative of seeing the, uh, the slightly different shades of, of when you're like, Oh yeah, th- I didn't ever think of how this could be hard for, someone like Moses because at the end of the day, this is where he grew up. This is his family and he's helping to, he's aiding at the very least in burning it all to the ground. I think that that's very relevant today for sure. Like, especially with the strong political world that we're living in to develop your own beliefs that are not your family's beliefs can be very challenging for people. Absolutely. And I think that that rung true here. It did bother me more than I expected. And I know we laughed about it during this, but like, how much Moses in this depiction t- is blind until it's relevant to him. And I know that a lot of people are like that, but I, I I'm so glad they, they verbalize that out loud because mm-hmm. that's so shouldn't be the message for children. Yeah. Like, you know, um, and then they came for me like that. You can't just support people who deserve to be supported yeah. when they're your people. Yeah, no, I full heartedly agree. I never even looked at it from that angle <laughs> until you said it. Then I was like, shit, she's so, she's so right. And then, <laughs> and then, I, then I couldn't stop seeing it. Then the movie pointed out. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's intentional. Yeah. It was like Aaron, right? He was just like, what, until. Yeah, it was like way late into the movie when, you when they said you it. were but, a slave. But, yeah. but, but it, was, uh, it was a purposeful choice, I guess, to depict it that way. Because, yeah, I mean, I, th- I think the movie itself was. Yeah, I thought, I think there's a lot, like from, I'm looking from like the perspective of it's a nineties animated movie. And at the time to do it, I imagine took, it's kind of a bold move for, to do like a kid, like an animated movie. And then to, at times not, uh, like you have to find the level of restraint of like, how dark can we go? But we can't go too lighthearted or else then it, 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 then it's kind of like taken away from what the story is all about. And I thought for the most part to make like a family film that is access- like a, a accessible family film for this story. Like while some stuff might get a little bit lost in the messaging, I think that's important. Like you can't make a, like a freaking Schindler's list out of this kind of thing. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm super with you. I speaking of lost in the messaging though. And I feel like I have a good grip on this story. Mo- mostly I am confused about what happened with his wife's family. I don't know. I don't know any of that. 
Yeah, I I, like I, it makes you want to do a deep dive of like. I know he had kids and shit, but I don't know any of that. So they're living in the um, uh, in hiding in the desert, mm-hmm. and they are who? Like, were they slaves that escaped? Were they um, Egyptians that escaped? What, like, what is with the high priest situation being her dad? Like, are they running their own society? And then when we see that they leave um, or when we see them on the other side of the water, when she he's holding a kid, presumably his. Mm-hmm. So we know that she gets out, the kid gets out. But like, where was the rest of the family um, or that? I want to call it a tribe. I don't know what they, but like mm-hmm. that other society group, whatever. Mm-hmm. And what, what, who was that? that? That's the part where I'm like, okay, I have a big hole in whatever this story is. Yeah. Let's look it up. <laughs> <laughs> some Google it? Yeah. yeah. Let's Google it. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, let's we, do could some, easily, we could easily Google let's it. Use, really let's loud. use the machine. We could easily look it up. Can't we? Okay. I mean, I mean, I thought like voice work though. Still, while well, I'm looking this up, I it was like A list celebs. Yeah, I thought that's Val Kilmer. Yeah, I thought he was great. Um, I thought he was wonderful. Uh, Jeff Goldblum haven't heard him be so serious in so long. Michelle Pfeiffer. Who is Michelle Pfeiffer? That's the uh, um, girl, the hu- hubby wifey. It's fun talking about this with you because this is like akin to when you watch a comic book movie and you know the source material <laughs> and yeah. now you're like breaking it down. <laughs> yeah. I, but I don't know enough or anything. Okay. Let's see. Do you remember her name? Yeah. It's a Pora. So it's the wife of Moses and, um, she was voiced by Michelle Pfeiffer who did both her speaking and singing. Wow. Great job with the singing. Uh, who is she in the and Midian? Is the daughter of Raul and the the priest of Prince of Midian? This shouldn't be so hard to figure yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> <a> biblical <laughs> narrative. Uh, um, yeah. In the Torah, Zipporah was one of the seven daughters. Uh, um, okay. While the Israelites and Hebrews were captive in Egypt, Moses killed an Egyptian who was striking a Hebrew, for which uh, offense Pharaoh sought to kill. Moses, Moses, uh, let's see. This all stays in the video. But is she? <laughs> Zip, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is she an Israelite or what is her background? Priest of Midian. Let's go to the actual source material here. The Wikipedia or the Bible? Midian. Midian is uh, uh, Western in the Hebrew Bible and Quran, uh, Northwest Arabian Peninsula. Uh, Let's see. Uh, okay, according to the book of Genesis, the Midianites were the descendants of Midian, who was a son of Abraham. Oh. Yeah. So. She was a descendant of Abraham? He was a Abraham? Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Consider her different than. Now it's just watch Roxy and Greg read it themselves. Random things about <laughs> Midian culture. Yeah, um, I might have to look more into her. All right. Yeah, the just I'm gonna have to look more into her because, like, who is that, and how were how did they get out of being enslaved? Uh, they just went really far away. Yeah, they went. <laughs> That's, because they, they had to escape and they went really far. I don't know. I don't know that part of the story Me too neither. much. Me neither. But it was interesting that they decided to include it. Well, yeah, you got to have the love angle and it was a motivating factor for him. If that is how it went in the story itself, I, I, so I presume, mm-hmm. um, cause yeah, they're, I mean, there's so much more that happens after they escape. The, they get to the problem. Like, I skip past a lot. I got to the Ten Commandments, and then even after the Ten Commandments, and uh, you know, for the family film, like, yeah, you keep it focused on the main message of the main part of the story because there, there's some like dark stuff that happens. And like you, you mentioned, now they become they they go back to being enslaved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then not, and then again, and then not, and then again, and yeah, we and still have multiple holidays to get to. We haven't dealt with Passover. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't gotten to anything. So come on, they haven't even done like a no Hanukkah. Hanukkah movie. Yeah, yeah. 
I haven't even done a Hanukkah movie. It's almost as if there should be one. I know. Maybe a romantic comedy. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, but I think like oh, when I when I try to recontextualize it in my head of like, oh yeah, I didn't even know about the musical numbers. You barely knew all of them, but I didn't yeah, know about I, them. But I thought they were great. I thought they were beautiful. Isn't it weird to know something and you don't know you know where you don't ever mm-hmm. question where it's from? I have no idea how I know that. Happened when we were watching Trolls. Yeah. I was like, oh, is this D A N C E from here? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, if you were a kid watching this, do you think you would have enjoyed it? I'd imagine so. I feel like I would need to know. But I also feel like back then, I don't know what it's like for kids growing up now, but I feel like back then, it was much more of like a Christian, it still is, but it was much more of like a Christian dominant America. Now, in like the media, it's like people make fun of it, like uh, religion all the time now and talk against religion all the time. At least when I was growing up. Maybe, maybe it was just because I grew up in like r- within religion. I, I feel like it was really like not cool to do that on media. Mm. And so I think like it was really p- predominant. Like, like now, like this is DreamWorks made for everyone. And granted, it's a story of Moses and it's been told a bazillion times. Uh, so it's not it's not the same as like one of those, you know, just exclusively produced Christian movies that like Christian audiences flock to. It's like it's not, it's not one of those. Uh, but I. Like, but I don't know if, um, I, f- I feel like there'd be a lot of things I didn't, I wouldn't understand if I just didn't actually know the story because totally. a lot of it is treated in that way. Like you kind of need to know it. Uh, like why is he carrying the stone to the end? <laughs> yeah. What is, what is that and the, the, to encourage? Um, but you know, like this, this story of someone who, who did go against his family, uh, what he grew up with and it was, it was a tall order for him, you know, like he, he ran away from it and he had to face his fears. So the, there are shades in there. But I think overall, it's just like, a, it's a, I wouldn't call it a cute family film, but it's a, there, I think it was a little bit more respective in certain areas and, and a little bit more vivid with this animation expressive than I actually expected it to be. I'm totally with you on that. The music really helped. I know we were joking at the beginning, like, I don't know how they're gonna make a musical, but it was like so important that this was, had music in it. Well, Otherwise, it actually drove the narrative. Yeah. yeah. It would have been a little stale. Otherwise. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> for kids, like, come a, on. It adds a bit of, it actually helps for a good medium yes. to not, because, because they have moments where you're like, they got to be a little bit comedic. It's an animated movie. Um, but it'd be so jarring if it was like just pure drama and then super comedic, like, su- like a super funny moment. And so the, the music helps as a good transition, uh, for those moments. But yeah, I, I think the music is great. I know you were concerned about how we were going to kill the firstborn. And they did a great job. Yeah, they really did. They killed those firstborns so well. That <laughs> silence, but with the like, yeah, really good. It does make your heart like kind of stop for a moment. There's a little bit. It is like a soul sucking moment. Yeah, you feel it in the you feel it in the land. Mm-hmm. Here, this is the land. No, like the atmosphere throughout the land. Yeah. Oh, of uh, that like that land sucking the air out of the room, literally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you feel to be sitting with the chosen person? <laughs> feel honored. <laughs> I don't think no other people have reacted to this. I don't think anyone's going to get a discussion about this movie. <laughs> the way we're talking about it in reaction. <laughs> Okay, well, what people say, so you, might, you might have had to sit through some weird jokes from Roxy and Greg throughout. <laughs> Once you got to this part, you're like, they're having a real talk about this movie right now. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Um, I, I dug this. I enjoyed it. I, I overall enjoyed it. It was it was a it was a brisk <laughs> brisk uh, Cliff Notes version of the Book of Exodus. What is it called in in the in the Old Testament? Exodus, not in the Old Testament. Exodus and um. Uh, oh my God! What's your book? What's your book called? That's what it is. Is it called the Old Testament? Yep. The Testament. It's I'm just going to call it Judaism. Yeah. No, that's what we. That's it. I thought it was called something else. It's called Exodus. Um. Yeah. I. I don't know what other thing. Here, the lesson might be. of Exodus. God is not simple, but He does keep His promises. <laughs> wow. Okay. I would say that. I want people to say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I could give about Greg. He ain't a simple guy, but he keeps his promises. That's Just like God. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
Uh, I guess it is called Exodus. All right. Well, guys, what do you think about the Prince of Egypt? Ah, here it is. Shemot. That's what I texted you. Oh, um, that's, uh, I think the Hebrew word for Exodus, maybe? That's what I was looking for. That might be it. Is that what that is? I guess so. It's in quotes here. Mm. Cool. Word. <sighs> dope. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. All righty. I still know my whole tour portion. You want to know it? Yeah, why not? We're at the end. It would take literally 30 minutes, but I can give you uh, the first part. You can give me the first part. Vayo mer moshe bezot tedun kiananai shalahani laso eko hamasi vayla kilo milibi. No better place to end it than now. 